Meanwhile, the Trump campaign is rolling out Operation MAGA to keep the campaign moving forward. Esme Murphy spoke with the president's eldest son earlier today. How is your father really doing? Listen, he, he's doing very well. Donald Trump Jr. says his father has not stopped working. When I spoke to him over the weekend, uh, that's what he was doing. He was working. He was negotiating deals. I, you know, I, I, I couldn't even get through initially because he was busy doing other things. He admits the COVID diagnosis is a major blow to the campaign. It's less than ideal. Hopefully people like myself can you know, pick up at least a little bit of that slack. He dismisses reports that claim he and other family members are concerned about the president's mental state after his controversial drive outside Walter Reed Hospital and an unusually large number of tweets, mostly in capital letters. Those reports are 100% false. I, I saw that on Twitter myself and I laughed. Uh, you know, that's one of those, uh, you know, left left wing uh, folks uh, trying to create a controversy. Trump Jr. denies what critics are claiming that the president's diagnosis and that of so many around him shows the president has wrongly and even dangerously played down the pandemic. I think it's ridiculous. The reality is, you know, I've seen what the protocols that go through for him. It's still a virus, just like we can't stop the flu entirely. We can take precautions, but we can't shut down the whole country again like Joe Biden would do. And he expects to see his father back on the campaign trail soon, including possible stops here. It's a very important state. You know, I, I've been there a bunch myself. There's, you know, obviously uh, nothing quite like a Donald Trump in-person rally and, uh, uh, you know, to get people going. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News.